Hi, second grade. Um, well, this is it, our last online art class um, for this year. I just want to thank all of you who participated, who made really great art, who took pictures of it and handed it in. Um, I enjoyed making videos. I've never done that before. Teaching art online. So interesting. Um, but I loved seeing your work. You guys are great. Okay, um, three announcements. One, the link for the virtual art show was emailed to you yesterday. So find that email and watch that with your parents. Um, I also sent them the email too. Okay, two, next week, SEW, uh, and we um, are going to have some art opportunities through SEW. So Mr. Pound will share those links. Um, it's not something you have to hand in. Just a great way to keep learning about the Bible lessons through art making. Then next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, your parents are invited onto campus to drop off textbooks or library books um, and pick up a couple things. One of the things they should pick up is your artwork. And send them to the art room and I will have that all organized and ready for you to go. And ready to go for you. Let's jump into our artworks today. We looked at Laurel Birch. I hope you love her work. And today um, we're just going to do another little Laurel Birch inspired work. But today we'll learn how to draw some Laurel Birch fish. So um, let's look at what's going on here. I have a paper and today you're definitely going to need a pencil with an eraser because one of the steps is to erase part of it. She also uses bold black lines and then whatever you have to use the colors, whatever colors you have to use is great. Okay, so I have my paper up and down. One of her really um, well-known fish artworks is a sort of like a stack of fish and I included that um, image for you to look at. And so I don't know if you can see this, but I'll show you again. The first thing I did was draw some shapes, four of them, and they're overlapping, which means they're touching a little bit. And these shapes look like leaves or eyes or mango shapes sort of like a raindrop with two points. And these are gonna be my fish bodies, okay? But I need to make open fish mouths. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a nice big V in the corner of this fish, then I'm gonna erase here. Do you see how it sort of looks like a lily pad now? I have more room over here, so I'll put this one here this V here, this V down here. And then again, I'm going to come and erase that other part. Okay, so now I have fish bodies and fish mouths. Let's add some tails and fins. For the tails, I'm sort of gonna add them like um, triangles. And this one I don't want it to cover over the face, so I'm going to turn that tail. And by turning the tail, that fish will look like he's swimming. Or maybe he'll look like a goldfish. Okay, now one of the things that Laurel Birch does is she overlaps those layers. And so, I don't have to erase any other lines. Make some eyes. and some fins, and I'm gonna make fins like a shape like that, like that block. Can you see that? Press a little harder with my pencil here. And it sort of looks all confusing, but we sort of understand it. Let's add some marker line. If you have a marker, you could even trace these in colored markers. That would be cool. Okay. 
And I'm just going to draw that whole fish, and then the next whole fish I'm going to draw right over top so that those lines um, happen together. Fish eyes, fish eyes. And then today to add the color. Um, I will show you a couple ideas about adding color that might feel similar to the cats, but you could also do the color a different way. I'm going to, um, whoa, my fish are flying here, flying fish. I think my eyes need a little circle. And I'm going to draw the circle, but fill in this part. So then that circle is like a highlight instead. There we go. Okay. Done with my tracing. I made four fish. You could make three or five. Um, whatever you want, or two. So I'm going to start with my marker here, and I'm going to draw some, you got it, shapes and lines to make some designs. And I'm going to do a lot of stripes, but Laurel Birch also does some really great polka dots. Here on this fish body, <clears throat> I'm going to... do some lines. I didn't want to go over that eye. There we go. Okay. Find another color. Did you hear that growl? That was the dog. She wants to say good morning to you. And you can see that I've, um, I'm repeating my marker colors here. Um, I think repetition, repeating, is a really important part in art making. So I've got one idea and I'm just going to repeat it. That will help to balance and connect my artwork as a whole unit. Um, maybe find something bluish. Because I'm going to go this way. And maybe I have one more tail in here. I'll go this way. And so again, the markers are adding both color, because I'm using colored markers, and design into the work. And then I can use crayons or colored pencils to keep filling it in. Um, and wow, I could really enjoy this game all day. Um, If you want to just do the lines and designs, that's okay too. Whoops. And I like when like two designs are happening together. Isn't that interesting? How this fin is sort of part of this fish and this design is sort of part of that fish. I can't wait to see your Laurel Birch fish designs. You can add bubbles. Oh, I forgot some bubbles. And you could also do water lines to make them look like they are swimming in the oceans or the pond. Okay, can't wait to see your work. Take a photo, hand it in.